Hey guys, Andy here. In this video, I will be running PUBG. I'm going to see how long these batteries will last for. Uh, halfway through, I gave up playing PUBG and I would just die and then leave it on spectate mode. So I'm running an i7. Doesn't matter because the CPU barely runs. GTX 980. The computer and the 32 inch TV, 410 watts peak, 370 watts is the lowest while a game is playing. So I start at 10.30 p.m. at 29.3 volts. When I turned it on, it dropped to 28.3. At 2.14 a.m., it was at 24 volts. Three hours and 45 minutes of playing PUBG. And when I turned it off, it jumped up to 25.7 volts from the 24.18. Then at 10.40 a.m., I started up again. And it ran for about 30 minutes, like 11.15-ish is when it cut off. For every watt of power usage, 0 0.043 amps is used. And that was continuous through all these different checks and tests, which I found uh, very fascinating. And then I uh, created a chart to decide how many power walls I would need to safely run different inverters. If you have a 4,000 watt inverter, you would need five walls in order to safely um, run, like bare minimum, which is interesting. So my seven was very correct, I, I guess seven, and seven is like 30 amps, and that's, that's pretty safe. Five is 35, which is pretty safe too, but this is better. You always want a percentage of uh, safety. To run a full house, you'd need seven of them, and that would run for a very long time, because playing a video game for over four hours is, is pretty good. What are we at right now? We are at 29.3 almost, and we are going to do what I said we were going to do. We're at 28.8, 150 watts, 12 amps, 250 watts, 230 watts, in-game, almost 400 watts. Okay, it's been 30 minutes now, uh, it's 11 o'clock, so we're at 27.25 volts. Uh, 15 amps. A light load test of like 15, 16 amps will tell you if there's any problems. And there is one right here. So it's it's warm right here. So I'm going to put some dielectric grease. Uh, it's pretty easy because it's a nut and bolt. So I'm just going to take off the electrical tape, uh, loose and take it off and put some dielectric grease on there because everything else is cold so you know there's a problem the cold 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 slightly warm pretty warm cold okay, it's 11 30 so it's been an hour now so this is a little warm this heat sink surprisingly but I think it's because it's touching these wires and it's actually absorbing a tiny bit of that heat Alright, I got tired of actually playing the game. It's 1 a.m. Screw it. All I have to do is keep a high load. 25.4 volts, 17 amps. You can see the amperage is slowly ramping up as the voltage goes down. 450 watts. And 404 watts. Well, now, here's a chance to actually use this device. 30. Hmm. It's not really that hot. Okay, so, 30. Hmm. The batteries are claiming to be 30. 32. It's 1.15 a.m., 25 volts, 
almost 19 amps that's interesting 470 watts only 350 there we go 420 it's 2 15 a.m we're at 24.2 volts 11 11 17 a.m all right so that's the numbers then this morning before i turn it on it was 26.4 and then when I started running the game, it was 25 volts. If I turn off the inverter, I flip the switch, just watch, and uh, I bet you anything it'll recover, so that's a little annoying. Thank you for your likes, your subscriptions. I mostly appreciate your comments and critiques. I am not one to be insulted. Just because I spend a lot of money and time on doing something doesn't mean that critiques are not in order, right? There's a lot to the system. 130 now, 26.87 volts. Having them, I might even just take the entire unit apart and take off the metal plates and replace them with huge heat sinks because uh, even if I put a fan on here I feel like the plastic is holding in heat and preventing dissipation but I think I would still want to remove one whole row so that I can fit things a little bit better I don't like how close it is to this it's too close but this is the first one so no big deal it's hot, but it hasn't caught fire. It's not crazy. And once again, yeah, 80, 50, yeah, so 50, 60, 70, 80. So 80 on the heat sink, 50, 60 on the plastic. Thank you very much guys, thank you for watching through to the end, a little bit long of a video. This is where I'm going to base future load tests off of. So I know that this really crappy wall with really crappy batteries can do this amount of work. And I've got all these so I'll start building my second wall. I'm going to take this wall and I'm going to put it up, mount it up on a wall with this guy. And then I'll have uh, build another wall and then put it beside this one. And uh, that will give me enough to max out this guy safely. I have a lot more videos planned, a lot more different things. My next video will be explaining this guy and possibly even tearing him apart and completely redesigning the heat sink of it. Uh, just getting rid of the plastic altogether. Video after that will be trying to trip this breaker using this guy since i calculated that maxing this guy out should absolutely kick this off i brought this up to 46 amps in this video and it didn't pop that that's not a surprise there's other youtubers that have proven that so like comment subscribe please and thank you and have a good day